Hi, so um, I've been asked by a lot of teachers to give a tutorial on how to do the hot chocolate uh, cup routine. So I'd seen some really fun cup routines of sleigh ride and uh, other Christmassy songs, but I wanted something a little more challenging for my middle schoolers. Um, so I was surprised I couldn't find one for hot chocolate from Polar Express, so I decided to make one myself. And so if uh, I just wanted to make sure I can uh, make a tutorial for you guys if you wanted to use this for your own classes. So um, simple enough, um, I suggest using uh, red Solo cups instead of like paper Dixie cups and things like that just because these are sturdier. Uh, with a lot of these actions, you want it to not crumble under itself. Even these ones in my classroom don't last as long for one class period with my more aggressive students. So um, <clears throat> We're just going to get right started. So the A section is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, there's one complicated part, and I usually go over that one first with the students, just to be like, okay, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. If you get this, you're golden. So I'm going to start from the beginning of the A section. So you have clap, right, clap, left, clap, up, down. You grab with your right hand. You do it again. Clap, right, clap, left, clap, up, down. Do it a third time. Clap, right, clap, left, clap, up, down, and this is the complicated part. If they're familiar with the Anna Kendrick Cups song with the uh, uh, this is, is the part of the routine that I put in this hot chocolate thing. So if you're not familiar with it, what I say is you clap, and I tell my students they want to turn their hand downwards so their pinky is up, and they're going to grab the cup that way so they could just simply flip it up if that's the motion they're going to make. Pinky up. So clap, pinky up, grab, hit the open part of the cup into your other hand, slam it down on the table, continue that rotation turn so you t put the bottom of the cup into your other hand, slap the table, down goes the cup. So clap, grab, pinky up, into the hand, down, into the hand again, grab, table, down. So a little faster, clap, grab, up, down, up, down, down. So clap, grab, open, down, back, slap, down. All right, so that is the A section. We do the A section twice. So clap, right, clap, left, clap, up, down, clap, right, clap, left, clap, up, down, clap, right, clap, left, clap. Now the crazy section, clap, grab, up, down, grab, and down. Now we get into the B section after we do the A section twice. I do what we call the hop clop, or the horse trot. You do six clops, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then down. And then you take your right hand and you're gonna grab it to flip, and then simply flip it back and switch hands. So we had that first hop clop, one, two, three, four, five, six, down, switch hands, flip, flip, switch hands. And you're going to flip it again and then do a swirl action and then pretend to drink and put it back down. Some of my red cups don't spin as well. This one really does. So um, you have one hand in front, one hand in back. Just do a nice spin and kind of let it wobble on its own. By the time we get back to the A section, flip it and prepare. And then we do the A section twice again. So um, that's the first time through. So then when we get to the B section the second time, it's a little longer than the first time we did it. So um, we finished the A section, the crazy part. So when we're at the B section the second time, we do the hop clop and we do the flip. But then we go back and we do the hop clop again before we do the actual drink section. Now we're at the drink section, flip and swirl and drink and down and spin it again and we're back to the a section twice again um after that we do that longer b section the third time we do the b section uh we actually forego the uh spin after the drink so the third time you do the b section you just drink and down immediate flip to the last a section so there's no fancy spin after the third b section so at the very end, instead of doing the A section twice, you only do it once, but once you get to the difficult spot, when you would be doing the flip, you'd actually do it twice in a row. For my students, I just have them do the same action twice. For those students who want the extra challenge, what they can do is do it right-handed first, 
but then left-handed the second time, which is extra tricky and takes a lot, of, a lot more mental work. After they finish that second tricky routine, one hand is gonna be behind and one hand's gonna kind of be in front, so you kind of just do an easy flip in what one of my students actually suggested at the very end, which I wish I put in the, t the actual demo video, but since we just did this and to do the quick flip, your hands are still on the opposite sides, so they suggested doing one of those. So just kind of a quick spin, flip up kind of thing. And it's kind of fun to see these cups go flying in the classroom. So that is the tutorial. So you guys can uh, find the full demo with the song uh, in the description. And uh, you can use this with your students, and hopefully they have as much fun as I had writing it. So thank you. Merry Christmas.